here with Ian Allison after a 2 0 defeat for the Saints against Chelmsford City here at Clarence Park on Saturday afternoon. Ian, a tough result and a tough game overall. Yeah, I thought they were a little bit, um, I think the first half they were a little bit sharper than us. I thought they got to the ball a little bit quicker. It took us too long to, to move the ball in the first half. Um, and I think they, they deserve to be going in front 2 0 at half time. For the second half, we were much better. We moved the ball quicker um, without really creating many chances. They defended really well. Um, and you've got to give them full credit for, the, for their performance and, and, and picking up the three points. Of course, the Saints have been affected severely, well, not necessarily severely, by COVID over the Christmas break. Do you think that's had a factor in the ability to train and play matches? Um, I don't want to use it as an excuse, Jake, at the end of the day. You know, we've, we've managed to train this week, um, but we have missed a three-week period. Um, we've obviously still lost Zolomon and, and Zane Banton. Um, but listen, at the end of the day, they were better than us on the day. Um, we can't, we can't whinge and moan about that. We have to accept what we've got. We've got a big squad um, and we have to get on with it. And, and on the day, they were better. I said to you before that they were sharper than us. They took their chances that come along, though I felt we could have defended both goals better than what we did. Um, we conceded both goals while we were on the attack. Um, and they're the little things that, that we look back at and, and that gave them the two opportunities. Apart from that, Michael's had to make one save in the second half from a breakaway where we're pressing to get back in the game. We haven't tested their keeper the whole game. Um, and that's really the game was just really a bit of a midfield battle. And, but as I say, you have to give them full credit um, because they've, they've done their job. They've picked up the three points and, uh, and obviously gone home very, very happy. You know, we're a little bit despondent, but as I said to the players now, we, we've got to pick ourselves up and go again. You know, we've, we've, it's, been a, it's been a difficult three week period, um, but we, we're better than what we showed today. And we'll get back to where we was very quickly and just give us a couple more games under our belt. You talk about Solomon and Zane, how are they? Um, they're both, I mean, Solomon doesn't seem too bad. Zane's been quite poorly. Um, and we've just got to just see where they are. I mean, you know, James Kolotsky's come back today. David Noble's come back today. But it's taken its toll. Um, and I think, you know, you've seen, you know, what it does to a lot of people. And it's, um, it's one of them. We've just got to assess ourselves and take each day as it comes and each week as it comes. We don't know. We don't know where we are from one day to another at the moment with this virus. Um, so we have to respect the virus, as I've said, from day one back in March. and. Uh, and, and look after our players, look after our staff um, and make sure that everyone's correct. And uh, really at this stage, we have to look at, you know, results as we go on to a weekly period rather than, you know, game period rather than looking further in at, further ahead. It's, it's been a tough three weeks, but, you know, we're back to playing again, which is great. As I said to the boys there, we've got the privilege of playing and we've got to make sure everybody's safe, most importantly, and uh, get ourselves picked up now for Tuesday night at Welling. And how are you? I know a lot of City fans passed on a lot of messages as well. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, I'm getting there. It's uh, It's been a slow process. Um, as I said before, you know, you have, you have your good days and your bad days. Um, and certainly during the first 10 days, it was a, it was a little bit tough. And, and, and now at the moment, it's still, you know, we have the good day and the bad day. We've got Steve Conroy back today and Steve's been out for three and a half weeks and, and still feels very weak with it. So, um, you know, we're a little bit older than, than, than some of the players and the players seem to have got over it a little bit quicker than what we've done. But... As I said to you, we have to respect this virus and, uh, and, 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 and thankfully at the moment, you know, I've come through it okay, Steve's come through it okay and, and hopefully that's the way it remains for, for, for a period of time and, uh, and we can get back the squad to, to where we was before the, before the break and, and start winning games of football again. And back to football quickly, got Welling United on Tuesday evening, is that sort of almost the perfect time to play again in your eyes considering today's result? It is because it obviously gives us an opportunity to put things right. But again, at the moment, you know, I just, as I said before, first half, I felt we were a little bit off our game. Um, it would have been nice to have had a friendly today and then and, and then sort of gone into Tuesday night. But listen, that's football at the end of the day. We've we had to respect this this virus. We have to respect what, what happens. We knew that when we went into a bit of a lockdown, which we had to do, that it was going to be difficult to come straight back. But I don't want to use that as an excuse today. I felt on the day they, they were a bit better than us. And uh, I'd say they took the two chances they got and we never really got an opportunity the whole game. Brilliant. Thank you, Ian. Brilliant. Pleasure. Thank you.